Karl Bucker, a former German World War I pilot officer, spent some years in Sweden and returned to Germany with Anders J. Andersen, a young designer at Saab, and founded Bucker in 1932, and the first plane to see production was the BU-131 Jungmann. Initially designed for sport and aerobatic purposes, it was later used for training purposes as well. Rugged and agile, the BU-131 became the main trainer for the Luftwaffe and played a crucial role in German pilot training, helping to prepare both aspiring pilots and the future German aviation aces who would fight in World War II. A total of about 5,000 machines were produced in Germany. It had two open tandem cockpits and fixed landing gear. The fuselage was steel tube, covered in fabric and metal, the wings in wood and fabric. Equipped with a Hearth HM60, four-cylinder inline engine, which from the B version reached 105 horsepower and gave it a top speed of 350 km per hour. Yugoslavia was the main pre-war export customer, followed by Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary and Czechoslovakia. Production licenses were granted to Switzerland, Spain, where the aircraft remained in service until 1968, and Japan, where 1,037 were built for the Army Air Force and Imperial Navy. Even after the war, the plane was used by various foreign countries and continued to be produced for many years. In the 1960s the Spanish, Swiss, and Czech governments sold their BU-131s to private owners, and many were exported to the United States. To this day it is still an aircraft prized for its outstanding handling characteristics compared to other antique biplanes and even some modern aerobatic models. After the war, some BU-131 variants were equipped with Lycoming engines, often to simplify maintenance and the procurement of spare parts. That is why the models with the 180 horsepower four-cylinder Lycoming O360 engine are more despised by those who still fly these aircraft. The Buha BU-131 was not only an important training aircraft for German pilots before World War II, but also forms a significant part of military aviation history. Continuing to be used and appreciated even as an aerobatic aircraft, even today, it demonstrates the validity of its design over time.